Thank you, Victor. Right. Uh, I think this is a, a genuine concern mm. uh, for most of the students, but at the same time, people daily have not been very fair because uh, they know very well that the UHC, mm. which the government is rolling out, mm -hmm. is going to really cover everybody. The Social Health Insurance Fund yes. is intended actually to cover all families, in, you know, from children all the way to parents. Mm. So in this transition period, which most of the members have mentioned here, is that uh, there is that lacuna that we are trying to <coughs> see what do we do with the children now at this time, mm -hmm. that the UHC is not in effect and also NHI has come to an end. Mm. So within that period of time, I'm sure that the government is looking into something to make sure that the children or these students are covered. But at the same time, it's not that the government is not aware of concerns of uh, some of these students who may not have uh -huh. the coverage. They are, they are very aware, like uh, a member mentioned, uh, Member of Parliament Mashimua mentioned that uh, Belio was present yesterday mm. to actually address these issues. And I think the, the, the Ministry of Education is actually addressing the matter. And I think it will be, it will be, uh, it will be taken care of. One is that uh, Kenyans, mm. not only the students, most of the Kenyans are still also wondering what do we do now that NHI has come to an end. Mm. Uh, as we transition to social health insurance fund, what should we use? Because the, you, you know, Victor, the biggest uh, cost right now mm -hmm. in this country is healthcare. We do a lot of fundraisers every weekend in my constituency. I attend a lot of fundraisers just because most people cannot afford actually yeah. to pay. And that is why we say these people are going to courts to stop the, uh, the implementation of UHC are doing Kenyans unfair because now look at the students are just left to Kwamata. Mm. Look at most of the Kenyans are going through a lot of these struggles just because the UHC is not in effect, the NHIF has come to an end. So we want to make sure that we, we affect the issue of SHIF so that all Kenyans will be covered. And that's what it says, regardless of those who are able, there are so many who may not be able to afford to pay for their SHIF. The yeah. government will pay for them. Mm -hmm. and, and I think this, once it's in effect, Kenya is going to be one of the best countries to handle the issues of health. Mm. So it's, it's, it's a genuine concern, yes, uh, and I think it's being addressed as we move forward. But uh, at the end of the day, when SHIF uh, social health insurance is being uh, implemented well, it will be for the best of the country. Mm.